Hey guys, here's a little behind the scenes video with the brand new refreshed Honda Ridgeline. And as always, I've got who behind the camera? Yeah, me. Yep, and this is the basic sport version with the HPD package. And we picked it up in LA and we're driving it all the way to Colorado. We're also towing the brand new Honda Talon. And in this video, we're gonna give you a little walk around of this new Ridgeline. And we're gonna go for a little bit of a drive and just give you kind of a behind the scenes road trip review. So Tommy, why don't you show them the new truck? Well, we just picked it up from Los Angeles. We are now in Victorville, so not too far away, but here are some quick initial impressions. Now, this is the new 2021 Ridgeline. It's got a much more- All I, new. I don't know what you're doing there, it's, Dad. This is from the A-pillar forward. It's all new, Tommy. Yeah, so it's got a much more vertical grill. Uh, this is the HPD, which we'll talk about in a sec. So it's got a special kind of scallops grill there. Uh, different headlight design. It's got these vents that are functional. They uh, send air around the side of the tire. It looks a lot less like a minivan now. So a lot more truck-like, a lot more aggressive. What do you think of these wheels? Now this is part of the HPD package. They're a, a, a gold or a, a bronze wheel. Uh, they're, they're really cool. I love these wheels. I mean, they look like something that belongs in a Subaru, but they're really cool. And check out these special new tires that they just uh, added on. They look very off-road worthy, but they're not. Well, what they did is uh, they worked with Firestone to come up with a new tire that has these big lugs on the side, but the main tread is still in all season. So it's still quiet and efficient on the road, but they wanted kind of a, a more aggressive look. And that's the whole purpose of the HPD package. So HPD stands for Honda Performance Development. It's supposed to give it kind of a more aggressive, a more youthful look. Uh, the wheel spacing is a little different, so it's, it's about 20 millimeters wider. That's why they added the flares here. Just an overall much better looking truck. Yeah, and this is the sport version, which means it's the base version. We never get that. So this guy starts at about $36,000, uh, which Honda thinks is where the sweet spot is for this truck. Why don't we show them some of the cool features that if you know the Ridgeline, this one still comes with. Of course, it's got a tailgate, but Honda pioneered, you know, this, which is, of course, the way a regular tailgate works. And, of course, you reach down here and it does that. How cool is that, Tommy? Very cool. I think it's neat. Composite bed. Uh, apparently, the Ridgeline, according to the guys at Honda, has the best payload in its class, something like 1,600 pounds, which is pretty amazing. And it has a trunk. So pop that little lever open. You got a really deep trunk down there. And uh, here we've got the spare tire. It's a space saver spare, so unfortunately not a full um, full size spare tire. But look at the size of that truck. I actually crawled in here earlier and was able to fit just fine. Um, so being a sport model, we don't have any of like the cool outlets back here. This is a, a total base model. Yeah, it's also uh, got a spunt. You know what spunt is? Honey? What's a spunt? Uh, you can show it. It's way down there. It's a little stopper. Yeah, so I think you can, yep, you could fill this up with ice, use it as a cooler, and then eventually drain it out if you wanted to. That's a pretty cool thing. Uh, you know, for $36,000, you get a lot of trucks. So we should explain this one's like 36 K and then the HPD package adds another $2,800 on top of it. Yeah. You know, it's a kind of an interesting truck. So it's got, I think best in class payload. I want to say, uh, 1600 pounds of payload, something like that. It's really good. Uh, but it only tows 5,000. Uh, and so we're, now we're towing, you want to show them the Talon? I will show them the Talon. This is the 2021 Honda Talon. This competes with uh, the Razor, the Can-Am, but this is the two door and it's the R with the Fox live valve technology. So that's new for 2021. Um, I think it weighs something like 1800 pounds. The trailer is, oof, I don't really know how much the trailer weighs. We have to go weigh it, but the whole combo is under 5k and Honda's point here is that you can tow your toys to the trail. You don't need to buy an HD truck. The Ridgeline will do most of what you need it to do. Look at that, brand new exhaust tips, uh, dual exhausts, and they look uh, pretty badass, you know? Yeah, I gotta say, I mean, let me give you the side profile. Overall, this truck, especially with the HPD, it looks really cool. I just think it's got a really purposeful look, so much better than the outgoing Ridgeline with the front end design. Yeah, much more rigid, uh, much more chiseled, right? They made it look more off-road worthy. Let's jump inside. So cool thing about Ridgeline too, as we jump inside, um, they all for 2021 have all wheel drive and they all have the V6. So you know, once again, you know, not a bad value. Yeah, and they're all all-wheel drive. I think you just said that. Uh, the other cool thing about this one is it's really the base truck, right? It's like I said, it's a sport. Uh, so it has everything you need uh, and nothing you don't. And as a truck truck, you know, the only thing that I'm missing, and this is, of course, something that Ridgelines have never had, and uh, it's right here, of course, not the push-button transmission. It's the fact that it doesn't have a low range, Tommy. 
Well, it's not going to be a, much of a rock crawler. It does have a couple different drive modes, and this does have the IVTM four all-wheel drive, which is probably the best street-going system in any pickup truck. Look, Victoring Tommy. Remember when we did the video? Uh, this was by far the most comfortable, the most on-road worthy mid-size pickup truck you could buy. It actually does drive remarkably well like a car. Yeah, and I put this through the slip test before, which is our all-wheel drive torture test, and these systems were really, really well engineered, the IVTM4 stuff. So, um, start it up. Yeah, let's talk about let's talk about the numbers since we've been towing now for a while. You wanna close your door? Because right now it says door open. There we go, you can shoot road departure mitigation off. That's the other cool thing. It comes with all the safety equipment uh, just because that's what the Japanese are doing. And there are our numbers right now. So we've so far we've driven 105 miles. We're averaging 14.9 MPG. Uh, and we're almost down to a half a tank of gas. Uh, so yeah, towing, of course, you're gonna use a lot more. Uh, you know, I gotta say, I think the Ridgeline just doesn't get enough respect for what it is. I think it's actually a really capable, uh, really functional, really thoughtfully engineered truck. Of course, the problem is that currently thoughtful and well-engineered trucks are not in mode, but really off-road worthy lifestyle trucks are in mode. Uh, and so let's see how she tows, Tommy. So the Ridgeline um, comes, I think, standard with the Honda Safety Sense. So yep. you, you've got a lot of safety tech in here. This screen comes standard. I mean, this is a, uh, a base model without the HPD and it, it feels really well equipped. Dual armrests here, big center console, which slides open. And um, of course you don't have stuff like Sirius XM radio. This one doesn't have the sunroof. Uh, you can also navigation navigation yeah you can also get the bed speaker it doesn't have that it does have dual zone automatic climate though which is really impressive yeah and it has uh i would say one of the best rides in its class so you know everybody's lifting trucks and here's the conundrum right the conundrum tommy is that do you buy a vehicle for the 95 percent of the time that you use it or for the five percent of the time uh, that you take it off-road. You see what I'm saying? Right. So what's the answer there? Well, I think most people buy it for what they think they're gonna do with it, not what they actually do with it. Well, look at this, that's kinda cool. There's a button way down here to lock the trunk. Trunk lock. I have never not, I've never noticed it in the original line before. So how does it tow? Uh, you know, it doesn't necessarily seem to be down on power. Uh, the one thing we don't have is an integrated brake controller, but I don't think we're towing enough weight really to need it. Uh, but nevertheless, it would be nice to have that. I just feel much more secure. Uh, but in terms of, you know, the tail wagging the uh, Ridgeline, it's doing really well. The other great thing about this engine is uh, it really likes to rev. Uh, and even though I think it's just under 300 horsepower, which is fine, uh, the fact that it's so revvy and so lively gives it uh, a little bit more panache when towing at least a Talon. And it's got, what, a nine speed, right? Is that correct? I think it's a nine speed automatic. I, I do believe you are correct, sir. It also has, you know, really good cup holders here and here. Another one over here. So when you're road tripping, you know, you're very good. It's got very logically laid out controls. I like the instrument cluster where you get the RPM meter on the left side. You get a big uh, digital speedometer. You get your temperature, your fuel. Every, every, you know, Honda does that so well, right? You get into this and immediately everything falls to hand. I have not struggled yet trying to figure out, uh, you know, where to, for instance, you know, change the radio channel. And then get this, Tommy. Look, they added this back. Yeah, the volume knob. The volume knob. Thank you, Honda. Sorry we had to complain about it so much, but uh, we now have a volume knob. Uh, you know, it's. Uh, you said something before we started this video. You said if you were shopping for a mid-size, mid-size truck. I'm going the wrong way here. Sorry, guys. I don't want to get go to Barstow. We're going to Colorado. You said if you were shopping for a mid-sized truck, this would be maybe the one that you would choose. Do you, are you sticking with that, Tommy? Yeah, well, I mean, for the last 100 miles, it has been the most comfortable I've ever been in any pickup truck, even with the cloth seats and uh, um, not a lot of options because the great thing about the Ridgeline, which people hate, is that from here on forward, right, the cab in here is very similar to like the Honda Pilot or even maybe the Honda Odyssey. And people are like, oh, I don't want my truck to be based on no minivan. But the great thing about having a, a, a unibody platform and the front end of a, of a minivan or an SUV is that it's super compliant. It was built for families. It was built for long hauls. And yeah, I mean, it's, it's incredibly smooth. It's, it's definitely the best road trip I've felt in the truck truck world so far. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a little bit of beans on the straightaway. Let's see how it accelerates. You know, that is good. That is good for towing. That's a pretty small load though. It is a pretty small load. And you know, the mirrors actually work too. I can see really well. Uh, so uh, as a tow vehicle, I think if you're not, you know, towing 
something that's crazy huge um, this does very well once again it, you know it works for 95% of the time I think for 95% of the people for what they're using a pickup truck for it and the issue of course today is that people are buying stuff for the 5% of the time that they want to go off-road or tow something really big the back seat's not too bad, we've got all of our stuff back there. Plus the seat bottoms fold up so you can fit a bike easily in the rear. I think 5,000 pounds towing is probably enough for most folks buying the mid-sized truck class who have a, a little boat or maybe even a little camper. You could probably make some uh, magic happen there, but I've, I've been so far more than impressed with the new 21 Ridgeline. It, it's got all the comfort of the old one, but now it looks like a truck. Yeah, it does. Well guys, this has just been a little behind the scenes video. We're gonna do a full review of this. Of course, we're gonna, um, go and do a little bit of uh, uh, well hopefully sand dune bashing uh, in the Talon when we get to uh, St. George uh, and that'll be on off-road and then of course we'll do a full you know what we should do Tommy when we go up the Ike actually going back to Colorado we'll do another video and kind of Ike it with this load what do you guys say thumbs up yes no yeah let's let's give it a try all right see you guys next time thanks for watching ciao